Hello, these are my thoughts. One of the things that they never teach you when you're going to school to become a teacher is how insane it will actually be when you have to teach sex ed because the things that come out of those little mouths are quite alarming. I remember I had to teach about birth and breastfeeding and I was teaching the kids and I told them mammals produce milk for their babies to give them supple, supple nutrients. I came to work the next day and I had a parent phone call that said, Mr. D, do you care to explain to me why my daughter's currently locked herself in the bathroom trying to milk herself? Yeah, there's a long and a short answer to this. Short answer, I don't exactly think she grabbed the message of the story. I had to go back and reteach, so I did. And when I did, I said, no. Mammals produce milk for their babies, but only after they've just had a baby. And one boy just shouts from the back of the classroom, Oh, I thought those were a cow's wieners. So he thought that a female cow has four wieners. And then whenever there's, you know, time at the end of it, I always give the kids an opportunity to ask questions. So I put a little question box out there if you're not brave enough to raise your hand. But I always start with volunteers. Now remember, questions start with who, what, where, when, how, and why. They don't begin with this one time and they definitely don't begin with did you know that. I had one student who was notorious for doing just that. Why I insisted on calling him is still beyond me. I called on him, he raised his hand and goes, did you know that girls have a tiny penis? No. Well, they do, and now you know. And all of a sudden the conversation just switched to penises because the next question was, do you think that porcupines have quills on their penis? But I am not a vet. I do not know what a porcupine penis looks like. Which triggered the next kid to say, you said that all animals do that to make more animals. And I said, yes. And he goes, but even porcupines? Yes. And apparently they have a great success rate. And by this point, they're just spiraling. What happens to the bone that's inside my penis? There is no bone inside your penis. No bone in that penis. How long does it take the girls to sit on their eggs before they hatch? Before they hatch? I'm sorry, they're women, not poultry. Hypothetically speaking here, but if I pulled my penis back into a mangina, is that dangerous? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say no, but I'm not advising you to make a mangina right now. When you get older, will your penis change color? No. Well, how do you know? And I said, I'm 30 and my penis has never changed color. And he said, you have a penis? What do you think I am, a Barbie? The list goes on and on and on and on and on. I actually kept these little notes, so uh, maybe I'll make part two of this another time. Have a good day.